We all know what a barcode is, but what about a QR code? QR stands for quick response. They aren't scanned by the checkout person at the store. Instead, they're scanned by you. I think QR codes are a way to learn more about the thing that's in front of you. QR codes are like web links for the real world, and they're a lot faster than typing on mobile phones. <laughs> QR codes have been used in Japan for years. When scanned by a cell phone, they provide a link to a web page and additional information. In Europe, QR codes can be seen on buildings as well as on products like soda. I think QR codes are getting increasingly popular in the U.S., and you'll see them on more products, more stores. Barcodes that can be scanned with cell phones are now showing up in magazines and in stores. At Norma Kamali in New York, QR codes are everywhere. By scanning the codes, customers can learn more about the styles. The information you gather traveling through the store stays with you, so when you leave, you have all the information about the styles that you were interested in. A scan of this outfit's QR code will link you to a music video in which Beyonce is wearing the same item. And QR codes can give new meaning to the idea of window shopping. If there's a style in the window that you really like, customers can shop directly from the barcode. So if it's after six, you can shop without anybody and do it on your own. I recognize one of the people shopping there. Joining us now is CNET senior editor and early show contributor Natalie Del Conte. I'll let it be known that I did not buy Beyonce's bathing suit. You didn't? No. Okay, but you could have if you put in the right QR code. I could have. I yes. could be wearing it right now. I feel extremely tech savvy already. Just I know, talking isn't about this a QR cool codes. Thing? Yes. So you want to get started with them. What do you do? So you need an application for your phone. We call these apps these days. The iPhone has a few of right. them. I like Neo Reader is a good one, but there are two or three that are all very good. Android phones that's Google's phone has their own their each phone has a different software you can find them pretty easily Neo Reader is one that works on non smartphones as well so if you're thinking oh I need an iPhone for this you don't actually you just need a phone with a camera and then you get software for it as soon as you launch that application right the application will launch your camera phone but you're taking uh, a picture of the QR code and then it's taking it into the you phone. don't necessarily take a picture it uses the camera to scan it as soon as the camera reads that code it's gonna send you to wherever that QR code wants to send you where might we see these magazines well we're already seeing these in magazines so here's a self magazine that's using it on the inside, if I scan this with Microsoft Tag program, then I can learn how to get hair like Ellen Pompeo, apparently. You immediately get hair like Ellen Pompeo. Well, it doesn't actually do my hair, but it gives oh. me a little how-to video that tells me how to do that, which is nice. nice. So they can augment their content because, you know, these magazines are made months in advance. Yeah, yeah. But course. whatever they want to send us to on the, on the web, it makes it very interactive and now all sorts of different magazines yeah all of these magazines have them on the inside you probably have seen them but just not known what it was I can get Robert Pattinson's hair if I scan the QR code you might need to grow it magazine. out a bit but yes okay, in theory let me, let me in theory we also see them on video games now see on the back of this halo you, there's a code here that's going to teach you more about Halo, like maybe how to get around a wall or use your weapons a little bit better. By taking you to a website or whatever else. Right, you just scan this with your phone and then it's going to take you to Halo website. Um, this is a We the Kings poster for this band and if you were to scan the code on the band you're entered into a contest so you can win tickets you can get ringtones free downloads all of that kind of stuff bands everybody taking advantage yeah. of this right now uh, now i would be remiss in this segment if i didn't ask you if the early show has a qr code we are on top of that because oh, they do goodness. work on tv so if you at home have a qr code reader on your phone you can scan this right now so this one right here will take you to early show cbs news dot com about and you can get it right off the screen right now right this very minute um, and that will take you to an article about qr codes from the early show the one on the bottom will take you to a video about QR codes that actually I did and it'll walk you through all of this from top to bottom so that you can start using these because you will start seeing them now that you know that they exist. What great stuff. Yeah, Q it's kind of a neat theory because if you're at home getting your kids out the door and you see a segment that you want to learn more about, scan the code, you've got it on your phone and all of our CBS reporting will go with you. Good stuff, Natalie Del Conte, thank yeah. you very much. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.